Hello, it's only me again, and if you don't know who I am, because I've had quite a few new subscribers recently, I will introduce myself. Um, I'm Emily, and I'm currently in my first year of illustration at uni, and I video my weekly process of making things for uh, for university, for my illustration course. Another week of slaving away. If you watched my last video, you'll know it's all about the eye eyes. <laughs> so to quickly fill you in, guys, you didn't watch last video, but if you haven't watched last week's video, I recommend you watch it because it'll make... Uh, I don't know, it just kind of follows on. This is following on from that, so it will kind of make sense if you watch that first and then come back and watch this. Anyway, I have a project for uni where I have to draw 100 eye eyes if you don't know what an eye eye is, this is what one looks like. It's a weird looking animal creature thing. I think it's a lemur. But yeah, I have to draw a hundred of them. I'm currently up to 60 eye eyes. I didn't make a video last week because I was busy with it all. I also had to write an essay last week about intentionally ugly art within the abstract expressionist art period. <laughs> Very interesting stuff. Didn't film last week because I had too much going on. I will fill you in though with all the Artie McFar I did do last week. I've got this sketchbook here which has a few sort of doodles in from various eye eyes that I did this week but probably the easiest way to show you what I've been up to is to just show you my slides so here they are now. In case you are new and don't really know what's going on these are my slides my google slides and this is basically like an online sketchbook it's how the teachers see our work so I will fill you in I think the last thing you saw me do was this and since then I have done a lot. I did this thingamabob, which I don't know, I'm not crazy about, but I've got a hundred to do so I can't really be picky. <laughs> Some are going to be better than others. Um, this one, which is actually quite light, and then I made that into this weird pattern thing and tried to sort of make an eye eye out of the squares, don't really know if it worked, but I tried and then I made some more patterns out of that and from that um, did this cool little thing with way too many fingers. Um, Oh, you also saw me draw this in last week's video. It's a little out of order, these slides. Um, so, yeah. I uh, messed about with Photoshop of a pre-existing one, which I already did. This one, which I drew in last video as well, I messed about with that on Photoshop and made this thing with Bob. I don't know. It's not the best, but I included it anyway. And then I did something a bit different. I made a little model of my eye, eye a little teddy. I made this body first. Um, and then I made the head separately and then when I joined them together I didn't really think they matched um, so I used it anyway just for a couple of pictures I just sort of loosely pinned the head to the body and then I made a different body much shorter this time because I thought it fit the head a lot better and made this sort of <laughs> made it a little hat and a little uh, lifesaver ring and did the little pun for aye aye captain spent a full day making that and some more bits and bobs. Went a bit wild with eye eyes wearing glasses. Um, messed around with patterns with like the eye eyes hand because they've got really creepy hands. Did a quick watercolour painting of one and then drew over it with coloured pencil. Uh, oh, I made a comic. This one's fun. Uh, about an eye eye going to the nail salon. Where it's nails, it's not happy, they're grubby. And then it goes to the jungle salon sometime later. And look at those nails. Ooh, fresh. It's just a bunch of pictures of my sketchbook. This is where I go a bit mad with glasses. I just love drawing eye eyes with glasses, apparently. Um, eye eye, an eye 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 test. Hey, do you get it? Eye 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 test. Um, and then I made this gift thing of this one, which I did. I thought, oh, I could do something cool with that. And then made this fun little gift. So that's what I was up to last week. Quite a lot of eye eyes. And I also had to write the essay this week now. Well, actually, it's currently Saturday at the moment, so we've not actually gotten into next week. Usually I start filming these videos on Monday, but because I've got so much to do next week, I figured I might as well start filming a little bit early to hopefully make things easier for myself when it comes to getting this video up. The project has to be submitted on Friday, so I've got Saturday, today, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then it's up has to be submitted on Friday. So basically I've got five days, but on Tuesday I've got to get braces, so I don't know how much I'll get done on Tuesday. So that can get taken away and then on Sunday I have to work in my daily practice book so that can get taken away so really I've got four days to get these eye eyes done. I've got four days and 40 eye eyes to do so I'm hoping to get 10 done a day or we'll see how it goes. I will get going with that but first I've got a few Etsy orders to pack you don't know I have an Etsy shop so I will pack them and then get working on some eye eyes. 
Hello, hello, it's uh, voice over me for a bit now. Here I am packing some orders, like I said. I updated my shop, I think, uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, around that time. I can't remember precisely when it happened. Put a few more prints in my shop, some A5s and some A6 little postcards. I've had quite a few orders, so thank you very much. If anyone ordered, it means, it means a world of support. I don't know if that's a phrase, a world of support, but I've said it. Yeah, when I first update the shop, there's like a, well, whenever I update the shop, there's a bit of a, an influx in orders, which is lovely, but as the weeks go on, as the days go on, it starts to slow down a bit, which is to be expected. So it's back down to its usual pace now, but still, thank you very much for anyone who has ordered anything. It really does mean the world to me. It's actually mad. I can't believe that people want to buy stuff off me. It's a bit crazy when I think about it. I had to rewrite a bunch of thank you notes this week as well, but I didn't film it because it's quite boring. Gotta chop up all the paper. I write the same thing on every single one. Thank you so much for your order. I hope you enjoy your print. And then I add a couple stars around it and little pink dots, so they take a while to do, but obviously I didn't film it because <laughs> it gets a bit repetitive. Oh, and those little corner pieces that I put on to protect the corners of the prints. My dad makes them for me. He's, he's a bit of a corner master now, so when you get a corner in an order, just know, my dad's made that. <laughs> Right, getting on to making some art, straight back to the eye eyes. That's all I've done this week. Actually, no, it's not, I'm lying. There is actually something in this video which isn't eye eye related, so get excited for that. Pull your socks up, make sure they're on tight because you might get blown right off. Uh, here I am doing some eye eyes. I wanted to just do some really simple sort of acrylic ones where I blocked in the shapes, didn't really sketch them out first. I had pictures there for reference, but um, I didn't really look at them that much. I feel like I could draw an eye eye in my sleep now. I know them inside and out. These ones, I think these were like the ones in the 70s. I've got to draw 100 eye eyes, so these were like the ones in the 70s. So yeah, I was getting well on with the task at this point, over halfway through, and I just wanted it done. So I did these because they were quite quick, and I actually really like the way they look. Favourite colour combination, light pink with a dark sort of pinkish red, I love that colour combination and I really like combining it with uh, green, that's a recent thing which I've been doing a lot of, I just think they all sort of go together well because red and green complementary colours so they, they're, they're nice together and then obviously pink is just lovely colour, I like pink, if, if you can't tell from this video and all the art that I make, um, pink is my favourite colour. Here I am just doing another full body one, I've drawn this, this is that image of the eye because it's like one of the only pictures I can find where it's a full body eye eye. Most of the ones on Google Images are just a close up of its face. So there's like three I have of full body. So I just keep reusing the same ones. So I've drawn this image about 10, 20 times now. But yeah, I really like it. I went on top of it with some coloured pencil to add a bit of texture, a bit of scribble. I love a bit of scribble, I do. I think it just, I think it looks nice. As um, simple as it is. Hello everybody, it's currently now Sunday afternoon. I did a few bits and bobs this morning. I started out my slide with the stuff I did yesterday, so edited the pictures. I also did this quick finger my bob. Um, uh, so yeah, edited them. Oh, I forgot to show you. Last night I... Um, oh. <laughs> Bless, he's all tucked up, ready to sleep. I drew this last night. I didn't film it though because it was pretty late and I just wanted to get it done. I drew this last night. I think it's one of my favourites. I really like the colour palette. It's quite different to the colours I usually use, but I like it. It's nice. So what I need to do today is, believe it or not, I'm not going to draw an eye eye. I'm going to have a day off of eye eyes and work in my daily practice book which looks like this, it's slightly smaller than my other book, which has all these various bits and bobs in. And this is a task that's been set by us from uni, where we just have to draw in this book every day. But I've been neglecting it the past week and haven't drawn in it since um, the 31st of October. So yeah, I need to get doing quite a few pages in this book to catch up. I don't really know what I'm gonna draw yet. Hopefully I will figure something out. 
I might draw some landscapes. I don't know, we'll see. I decided to draw a landscape in the end because I just really like landscapes, what can I say? It was so nice to just not draw eye eyes for a day and have a break and draw something which, I mean as much as I like eye eyes and I've grown to think they're a really nice animal and I've really enjoyed drawing them, it gets a bit gets a bit boring when you're on your 80th high eye, eye so it was really nice to just do something different. I'm just using my coloured pencils here. The pencils I use are by Faber Castell, Polychromo, bit of a mouthful but I really like these pencils. I've got quite a big tin of them. I'm trying to force myself recently to reach for different pencils because I've kind of just been grabbing the same sort of 30 coloured pencils and I've got quite a big tin. I've got about 120 something like that and I've just been neglecting some of the colours. I just haven't grabbed them at all. So I've been trying to force myself recently to just grab colours that I wouldn't usually choose. So that's what I did for this piece and I actually really like this colour palette. Of course I've got to get my pink in there. My pink and my green but I use quite a few different colour pencils than I usually grab. Like that really that sort of mintish blue that's in the middle. I have like basically never used that pencil before and because I forced myself to use it I like really liked it in this drawing and it's now become one of my favourites. Uh, that was a successful drawing. I really like it. I think it's pretty. And then to fill in the gap I went for the classic piece of fruit. If you watch a lot of my videos, you'll know that I'm really into fruit. Fruit and landscapes, that, like, that's that's my go-to. I always used to, like back in first year, second year of A-levels, I was big into my portraits and that would be basically all I drew was portraits. So pretty much complete opposite to what I do now, which is fruit, landscapes and still lives. If you would have told me two years ago that I'd be into landscapes, I wouldn't have believed you because I was just so set on portraits. I mean I still draw them every now and then but nowhere near as much as I used to. Here's the finished spread, I really like it actually, I ended up just adding um, some checkered boxes at the bottom. I've grown quite fond of checkered boxes recently, I really like the pattern. Moving on to Monday. Oh, I do like my arty farty shot of my plant. I thought it was looking very elegant in the sunlight. On Monday, we had an online lesson sort of in the morning afternoon where I did this. Completely unrelated to IIs, we have a different project going at the same time, but that's a story for another day. I also worked on a couple of IIs as well, got uh, I think three done, sort of made this wacky repeat pattern situation. Uh, motivation and inspiration was very low. On Monday I just couldn't think of anything to do so I thought let's keep it simple and just do a nice realistic watercolour painting. I've done many of these back when I used to do uh, my pet portraits if you don't know I did commission pet portraits for about two months in lockdown well it wasn't in lockdown but in the period between after lockdown finished and going to uni I did some pet portraits I painted them all sort of in this style so I thought let's Let's whip that back out and do one for an eye eye. So yeah, nice and simple. Well, I mean, it's not really simple. It was quite realistic, but it was a simple idea. What can I talk about? I always get a bit worried that my videos are just all desk, 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 desk. I'll film my desk and then the next shot will be my desk. And then, oh, hold on, I'll go over to my bed, but then I'll, I will eventually go back to my desk. And I'll watch other people's art videos and they'll have like lovely artsy shots of like the trees or a nice little montage of them. I don't know, making food, and I think, oh, how pretty, and I always just worry, mine's a bit just desk heavy, but at the same time, do I want to film myself making um, a cup of tea? Well, I don't even drink tea or coffee anyway, but I feel like every single art sort of studio vlog starts with someone making a cup of tea. I, I don't do that. I have cardio. Maybe I should film myself making my cardio. <laughs> I don't know, it's not really, it's not really for me, I don't think. And maybe I'll just stick to the, the filming desk lifestyle. <laughs> but then I just worry it's too boring and it's just our desk. I don't know. It is what it is. So in my eye, I wasn't just a floating head. I painted it on top of these leaves. In the picture, it was on quite like a bed of quite detailed leaves and I couldn't be bothered painting all that. So I simplified them to these uh, just simple couple of leaves shoved in there with just green blobs to sort of imply the leaves are there without actually having to paint leaves. And then I went into it with coloured pencil to sort of make the colours more saturated with pink. I also went in with a purple which I thought worked really well. I don't usually go in with purple that much. Purple's a colour that I just don't really use that often. I kind of forget about it. 
but I've been trying to use purple a bit more often as well recently and I think it really worked well with this piece with the with the eye eyes skin tone it worked well Okay, it's now Tuesday. It's now Tuesday afternoon. Is it afternoon? Well, half four. If that's still classes, this afternoon. It's been a busy day. I went. I got braces this morning. I only have them on my bottom teeth at the moment because I have to. I have to have this surgery done for the top teeth before I get the braces on that. So they thought, hey, whilst you wait, let's get the bottom braces on. Um, yeah. So my mouth isn't feeling the nicest at the moment, but we're gonna power through and get some eye eyes done to try and get my mind off of the aching in my mouth. So I drew these yesterday, last night, in bed before I went to sleep. Put down random blobs, or well, random-ish blobs of watercolour and then just freestyled on top of them trying to make an eye eye fit into the shape. I did this one here and I quite like it but then I looked at it from a different angle and now I just can't not see a bird. This is the beak and that's its obviously its eye. Now I just cannot stop seeing a bird instead of an eye eye. Anyway so what I'm gonna do now is, you know what, I have no idea what I'm gonna do now. I ain't gonna lie to you, I haven't a clue. I've got so many pictures of eye eyes on my phone. Um, anyway so I had a screenshot of this but then like down in the bottom corner there's this one and I really like all the orange so I will do something with that. Okay here we go, I'm not going to do a sketch first, I'm just going to go straight in so hopefully this looks nice. Motivation is getting quite low for these eye eyes now. Um, I'm up to, I think I've done about 80 now and yeah motivation and also inspiration is seriously lacking at the moment. I'm really scraping the barrel for ideas. Well I can think of things to do but none of them are really exciting me at the moment. I feel like I've I've used up all my exciting ideas. These last 20 are just gonna be the dregs of whatever I can come up with. I want it all finished for Friday. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. This is an absolute mess. Hopefully I can fix it with the coloured pencils or something because right now it ain't looking too good. Okay, so that's where its eyes go and then this is like its nose and mouth area. Just add in its ears like that. Boop. Right, so I have done a bit more work on this and then I just went and scanned it. Also I have a version of this because I quite like how simple it's looking right now. So I've got that version of it uh, just in case I mess it up and I don't like it anymore. I'm just gonna darken some darks and just make it a little bit more saturated because I want this orange to really pop. Okay, doke, right, I'm gonna make myself a nice dark brown by here we go, this is my dark brown mixing tutorial. A bit of this brown with a bit of pink, with a bit of blue, with a bit of dark, really dark navy blue. And that's, that's how I make a dark brown. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm gonna call this done. Like I said, I wanted to keep it quite simple, didn't wanna to add too much detail. It's really goofy looking, but I kinda like it. I'm probably gonna work on quite a few more for the rest of the evening, but I don't think I'll film it because I really need to zoom through them and filming them makes it take a lot longer than it should take. So uh, yeah, I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Hello, Vice Love is back and I was telling fibs. I did end up filming more that evening but it was on like screen recording which isn't that hard to do. I just press a button and that's it. The screen is recording. So what I did that evening, I just edited that uh, sort of blob thing that I did where I drew inside the blobs and made it into a repeat pattern and I also just highlighted some of my favourite ones and made them sort of their own piece which is what I'm doing now. And oh, I also ended up changing the painting you just saw me doing of the big chubby eye eye. I wasn't really happy with it. I felt it was just a bit too plain, just like what's 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 it trying to achieve, you know? So I thought I went into it with some uh, coloured pencil and added on these creepy little arms and 
I actually ended up really liking it after that. I added a bit of detail also around the face with the colour pencil and you'll see it in a second when I go to edit it. I think it just made it a lot more interesting because it was quite boring before. Um, but yeah, that's my little repeat pattern. Added a few polka dots about and then this is a drawing which I was talking about just then. I added on <laughs> just the weirdest little arms. Doesn't make sense at all but I, I quite like how weird and creepy it looks. Uh, I thought I would show you how I edit my pictures. Most of the time I'll just scan the picture in on the on my printer because it's much easier to do it that way and it's just easier to edit when it's scanned but sometimes it just won't really scan nice and it will get rid of a lot of detail when I scan it. So when that happens I'll take a picture of it and I'll try to take it with good lighting um, but even when I take it with really good lighting it still ends up really dark. So I do this sort of editing thing on Photoshop with it. For the rest of the evening I just popped everything onto my slides really quickly to round off the day. Moving on to Wednesday, just when I thought I had lost all possible inspiration and ideas to do for I as I thought I'd used them all up, I was having my dinner. If I remember rightly, I was having tomato soup at the time and just a little thought popped into my head, what if I made my eye eyes into wizards? And I was just like, wow, oh my goodness Emily, that's the best idea I think I've ever had. Because eye eyes kind of just, they look wizardy already because they've got them gross like knuckly hands which is kind of stereotypical for a wizard and I just thought they would look quite good <laughs> these weird little wizard people so I filled a whole page with drawings for that I did all the sketching off camera because it wasn't very exciting there's quite a lot of rubbing out um, and then just went over it all with a, a pen <laughs> that's, that's all you have to say about that um, I really enjoyed doing this because uh, I feel like what I was really lacking in my 100 eye eyes was character design. Like I'd drawn an eye eye a bunch of different ways but I hadn't really given them a character that often, given them a personality or sort of like a job. So I thought uh, making them into wizards would be a way to to get that, get that idea across of like giving it a character. And I really like the way these look. It's now Friday and I've been working my bum off all day, it's now nearly 6 o'clock and I'm happy to say that I've now done it, I've done 100! Woo! I decided to make that my final one, I ran out of ideas. My boyfriend came up with that little pun so thank you very much. I messed about with some little line drawings and I'm making them into patterns and overlapping the lines. And then I also just coloured in this drawing I did yesterday. Um, oh, yeah, it doesn't look very good on camera. Um, I really brushed it though, so I could probably do a lot better, but I don't know, I didn't want to spend too long of it. I use like this GIF maker thing online where you just pop the video in and then it makes it into a GIF. And it made it really pixelated, but you know what, it doesn't bother me enough to change it. So yeah, I just did that. So that's everything. Yay! All four weeks of my life drawing eye eyes is now over. I thought what would be a nice way to end this video is by doing a little flip through of all the eye eyes I've done. So I'll pop that up on screen now. Now. Um, yeah, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching if you've watched the whole thing. It's a long video, so thanks for sticking around, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye!